designandmake.com. To get started, you'll need to head over to the store at designandmake.com. Type what you're looking for into the search bar and then click go. Have a look through the search results and if you see something you like, click on it. Make sure you read through that project page so you know exactly what you're going to get and if you like it, you can add it to your cart. Once you finish checking out and paying for your project, you'll be able to download that project onto your computer. Double click on the installer file and the next time you open up your Vectric software, you're ready to get started. Seeing as I'm using a pre-made cutting board for this particular project, I'm going to go ahead and set up my job size to mimic that cutting board. Now I'd like to be able to create my composition and curve it below the surface of my material, so I'm going to use a hand-carved dish shape from the Dish Shapes number 2 model project that's for sale at designandmake.com. I'm going to add in a zero plane just to make it easier to visualize what's going on. And then I'm going to temporarily scale the depth of my dish. I'll change this later once I figure out how deep I really want it. And because I've installed my Alpine Scenes project, I can go ahead and bring in components and try them in my composition and make sure they're exactly right. What I've done here is I've chosen one particular model and I'm gonna base the depth of my dish on that model. Now I can go ahead and try different components and decide which one better fits the composition I'm trying to make. I'm gonna use the floating properties dialog box in the 3D view to adjust the tilt and fade of my models as I work along. That way I can ensure that my models fit in perfectly into my composition. I find it really easy to use these components organically just by placing them where I think they might go and then fitting them in. Obviously all of these changes are temporary so I can go back and edit these later if I would like. Sometimes it takes a little bit of work to get everything to fit in right, but again using that Floating Properties dialog box in my 3D view, I, it makes it much easier to do. Now once I get my composition all ready to go, I need to look at trying to virtually crop off all the extra information that's outside of my dish. And to do that, I'm gonna create a brand new level and I'm going to make a copy of that dish and the zero plane onto that level. And then I'm going to invert the dish. I'm going to scale the dish to be one inch or millimeter. Then I'm going to change the combined mode of that level to multiply and move it to the proper location. And when I do that, you'll see that everything outside of my dish goes away. Now it's time to create some tooling. In this case, I'm going to use a vector to isolate my tooling. I'm going to run a 3D roughing pass and then a 3D finishing pass. Using the 3D preview is a wonderful way to make sure everything looks okay. And in this case, I noticed there was a bit of a problem. So I went back in and adjusted my tooling until I was happy. And now let's take my design to the scene scene machine. 